Do you ever feel nervous when you speak English? Or when you're just about to start speaking, you suddenly panic and forget everything you know as soon as you open your mouth? Hello everyone, Anna here from EnglishLikeANative.co.uk. Now today, I'm going to share with you five top tips to help you to improve your fluency and increase your speaking confidence. And to help you build your vocabulary, hang on to the end of the lesson where I will review the expressions that arise during our session. Now, as always, I've created a free PDF for you to download that includes all the tips and vocabulary plus a special Elan challenge. Just click on the link provided and register for your download. Let's go. Tip number one, switch it up. Switch your pleasure activities into English. We all love to relax after a hard day's work with a good book or a Netflix series. Well, why not squeeze in an English lesson at the same time? One of the easiest ways to improve your level of English is exposure to the language. By changing the language setting on your latest series or enabling English subtitles for your best loved YouTuber, you increase your exposure with just a click. Want to take it a step further? Why not reread your all time favorite book in English? Rereading or rewatching material can make it easier to follow and pick up new vocabulary. You already know the story, and it's always useful to have a notepad with you to make notes of new words and phrases you like. This may seem like a little thing, but these small changes can lead to big results. Just give it a try. Top tip number two, sing your heart out. Become a kitchen karaoke superstar. Singing is great for fluency. It helps us to understand how words work together in a sentence. Depending on the song, you can practice many different parts of speech. A repetitive dance song can help perfect pronunciation, and a wordy song can widen your vocabulary and improve speaking rhythm. Not only that, singing loudly releases endorphins and in turn gives you confidence. So learn the correct lyrics to your favorite English songs and turn up the volume. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. I need to learn those words. <laughs> Tip number three, be the hostess with the mostest. Do you enjoy spending time with friends and family? Well, next time you get together, why not do it in English? Organizing fun English only events at home can be a great way to practice fluency in a natural way. It could be a sophisticated dinner party. Oh, please pass the salt. A competitive games night. Uh, uh, it's a plane, it's a, it's a, it's a bird. Or even a cozy movie marathon with English films, of course. This is a great way to include your friends in the learning process too. Tip number four, work it out. Nowadays, many of us want to keep our bodies fit and healthy on a daily basis. And it's a great opportunity to incorporate English. English workout videos are fantastic for imperative practice. Or do you prefer running or going to the gym? Well, this is the perfect time to tune in to an English radio station or podcast. Most stations are now digital and everyone can listen worldwide. So exercise your body and brain next time you work out. Top tip number five, go on record. A great way to improve your fluency skills is to record yourself speaking in English. It could be a voice message sent to a friend or even talking to yourself out loud during your daily routine. I often encourage the members of my conversation club to use voice notes in our Telegram group. Group. That way they are continuing to practice speaking in between our conversation classes. Now listening back to your own voice can help you identify problem areas either with grammar or pronunciation. Being the listener as well as the speaker
Africa will greatly improve your communication skills. And if you'd like more information about my conversation club, then go to englishlikeanative.co.uk or click on the link in the description below. Now let's take a closer look at some of the key expressions from today's lesson. Switch it up is a phrasal verb. It means to change something for the better or just to be different. We usually say this when we are bored of our usual routine and need a change. Oh, I'm bored of salad. Let's switch it up and order Chinese. Sing your heart out is an expression that simply means to sing with lots of passion. The hostess with the mostess. This phrase simply refers to someone who is wonderful at organizing a good party or dinner party. If you call someone the hostess with the mostess, then you're giving them a compliment on a job well done. Wow, amazing food, wine, and musical entertainment. <laughs> she was the hostess with the mostess. To work out is also a phrasal verb. It can have two meanings. One, to exercise. Usually the type of exercises with weights or aerobic movement. I'm working out. The second meaning is to solve a problem. We need to work out how much everyone owes for food. To go on record. We use this expression when we say something publicly or officially. When we report a crime, we go on record. Fun fact, record is a homograph. In its noun form, we pronounce it record, record. However, in its verb form, we pronounce it record, record. Stay tuned for more homographs in the future. Now it's about time we practice some speaking. So come and speak with me in this well-prepared role play lesson. I recommend that you record yourself and then later listen back. I'll see you there.